welcome back. Before showing the initialization and provisioning of a node using CLI and API, I just want to inform. So in the real time, we use web-based initialization and provisioning through the browser most of the time. We use these commands when we are writing shell scripts or when we are trying to automate the things. We use these commands. So just FYI, I have created two GCP nodes for the demonstration purpose. I don't want to disturb the existing cluster. I simply selected existing node, which is instance one, clicked on a create similar, and I have changed the name to CB20 or 21 or 22 like this. I have created those two nodes. So I have included uh, the Couchbase commands to install and start Couchbase. So once the node is up, it must have started the Couchbase service as well. This is my startup script. The same thing discussed in the earlier lectures as well. So if I log into the node, I must see Couchbase is up and running. Here I am using the node internal IPs because uh, it may require uh, additional configuration if we use external IPs because of the Google Cloud security. So as you see on my screen, 13 and 14 are my internal IP addresses for these two nodes. I'm copying command to initialize a node with CLI. You see the success message. Now I'm copying the command to provision a node with CLI. If you open that node IP address in the browser, you still don't get the login prompt. So although initialization completed, if you open the IP address in the browser, you are still getting this because it is not yet provisioned. So let's provision now and then refresh the browser to see what happens. You see the success message, cluster initialized. Now go to the browser and refresh. Now you are getting the login prompt. Likewise, I'm initializing node 14 with REST API. You see upload completely. Now I am copying this command. You can see it's connected to IP14 and FC connection to Snapchat. Now I am copying this command to set a administrator username and password. This is the command I just pasted, and you see upload completely sent off, and you see the message connection to host. Now let's load and see the IP address in the browser. So this is 238 node, this is 53 node. So now there are two individual clusters. So as of now, you can see these two nodes, IPs ending with 238 and 53, these two are behaving like two different clusters. In the next video, add this node as a member of the cluster. Example, if 238 is there, add this 53 node as member of this cluster so that these two nodes belongs to one cluster.